All right, welcome back to part 13. Very unlucky number, actually. That's a, a bit of a shame, actually. But that's not a, a huge issue for us because uh, we're almost done with our surface caving. In fact, we're about to be done completely. We're in a ravine, but it's night, so I'm consuming all my torches in, uh, in, in doing this. So um, it's not a great thing, but, you know, I said last time, you know, we'd stop whenever we use all of our torches, and we are about to use all of our torches. But believe you me, the next time we come out here, we will definitely be uh, making use of uh, bringing multiple stacks of torches, which is totally fine. Uh, let's end that water. End that water's life. He doesn't need to be around anymore. And that should do for that. So this part is lit up as well. We have five torches left. Let's find out where we're going, huh? Let's find out where these uh, torches will take us in this crazy world. I'm shocked I haven't seen any mobs down here, actually, but they all must be spawning somewhere around us. Uh, there's one guy excited to meet us. Ooh, and he's a big one. Oh, yeah, I forgot. When they have armor, they don't stumble as easy, but he's done. Okay. Okay, um, so that's fine. We did that really well, actually. Let's um, let's let's uh, continue getting us coal. Let's get some coal. I think that's a good thing for us to get. Always need coal. Always need coal. Especially if you play this game kind of um, hardcore-ish, you're gonna do a lot of smelting, a lot of smelting. So you gotta gotta keep up on your coal reserves. It's not an option. Fuck! I keep having the hiccups. I'm fine, and then I start recording, and then I start doing that uh, into the mic. It's embarrassing. No one wants to hear that. I don't want to hear it. No one does. So that's fine, though. I, I mean, hiccups are a natural human re reaction, so that's something that we're just going to have to do. Um, I'm still not seeing... Ah, oh, there he is. But these guys do take quite a bit of damage to get down here, so I'm glad they're so excited to see me, though. It's flattering. Um, so we're going to call that good. Uh, we're not going to worry about that water. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, uh, it's easy to block up. Let's just do that now, and then we'll head on up. Done. All right. Let's head on ba back up. Let's put away our spoils, make ourselves another stack of torches, and then we will put the rest of our bounty in the appropriate spot. I think I've already covered that part of what we're going to do when we get back, but I just kind of wanted to reiterate. So we came from this way, so we'll continue. To, uh, I never did a... Uh, never did go back this way I don't think so come up here and here we are um, we'll probably run into the same issue as last time the whole uh, I can't sleep because there's a million mobs around my stuff problem uh, but you know I gotta say we got out of the situation once and I know we can get out of it again although this looks significantly hairier than the last situation I was in I'm not gonna lie to you uh, and we don't have any mutton this time um, I'll have to keep an eye out for that creeper. I did see a creeper over here. Um, he can be useful. Oh my god, we're fucked. Okay. We're fucked. Hang on. Hang on. We gotta come over here. We're not gonna make that jump, so we're gonna come further over here. And there's more zombies, but that's okay. Oh, that's a spider. You can't just walk around that guy. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. It's, uh, night's halfway over, isn't it? Uh, that's fine. Let's come into the water here. This is safe. It would appear that most angry angry beasts have been lured away from my abode. So we may be able just to run back and... Uh... Oh, hang on. We got a duel with this guy here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Let's run past these guys here, just like Resident Evil. I remember that game. I guess more like Resident Evil 1 than Resident Evil 6. I've never played 7. This doesn't really feel like Resident Evil 7, though, either. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we did get some skeletons back at the... Back at our joints, so maybe it's not the right time for us. Who knows? Okay, let's try and avoid that creeper. Oh, there's a lot of creepers here. Yeah, this is a problem for us. There is an Enderman, though, and uh, we can surely make quick work of him, can't we? We sure could. Um, I just need to... Get away from the spider. Oh, he's getting out of vision. I can't take care of him from out. Oh, whoa! Did you see the fucking Olympian jump? Holy shit, that was fantastic. I'd pay to see that. Oh, my God. That was amazing. Incredible dexterity from that spider. All right. So this is a bad place we're in right now. This is a really bad situation, but this is okay. We're going to come over here. And when we come far enough, from the mobs are going to despawn and that's what that's what the game plan is i could just go back because they're going to start burning soon but the problem with that plan 
folks. The problem with that plan is that uh, there's like three creepers over by my bed, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight three creepers. That's a losing battle, okay? So we're gonna come far enough to where they'll despawn. We'll let this zombie burn up. The spider's gonna constantly be aggro, but we can outrun that. And uh, we'll just come over this way, I think. The spider's still on us. Yeah, he's still on us. That's fine. Well, we'll let him, you know. Let them have a little fun. Everyone should be burning. They are, so let's outrun this armor zombie because he's going to be a bit of a hassle for us. And we just have one creeper, so apparently you didn't despawn. Uh, but that's okay because I can handle one creeper. Just need to be quick, and I probably shouldn't do it around all my stuff, but you know what they say. you got to live life dangerously. Okay. So the creeper's done. Let's. Uh, wow, that was quite a... Knights are a little bit dangerous around these parts, i got to say. Um, we should definitely make a bow. Um, so that's something we're going to do. Oh, are you still? You're not aggro. Okay. Um, we're going to make a fishing rod. We're going to make a bow. I can't make a bow. I already used all my sticks. Let's do this. There we go. Now we can make a bow, huh? There it is. There we go. Now we have a bow. How about that? We'll put the fishing rod away. Oh, wow. Apparently I can. Okay. Well, because that's my, that's where my sticks went. That's fine. Um, put our bow here. Put our um, arrows in this slot now now i have arrows how about that we are really making uh making waves here let's go ahead and fill these furnaces up and um i guess we can use our charcoal to make some torches because i'm going to start getting enough coal coal to where that won't be a problem for us uh let's go and put our coal away here let's get uh let's get our sticks back actually where'd those go i can't see them did i put them in here already no i didn't where's the sticks didn't I have a lot of sticks? Oh, right. They're here. I found them. Don't worry about it. All right. Let's put, uh, let's put that in slot five. And we're golden. Let's start putting our stuff away again. And let's make this into bone meal. And uh, boom, boom. And all we're doing now is waiting on... Oh, we need another sword, too. Which we can use our iron for that. And um, how much iron do we get in here? Oh, yeah. We're good. We're totally going to make armor. So let's um, let's put this egg away. Let's get one stick out, one single stick, and uh, let's go ahead and make a sword. Let's make a helmet. Let's make a breastplate. Let's make a that, and let's make a that. And our final piece de resistance is going to be a nice, pretty little. I'm gonna hold for suspense. A shield. There we go. Alright, so now we got a shield. We got iron. And we are Gucci. Look at us go. Look at that. That is fantastic, folks. That is fantastic. We have a, some beautiful gear. We do have a stone shovel. We probably could have used iron, but that's okay because we'll use it. Hey. Mutton. I like mutton. Let's, uh, let's, eat, let's eat some mutton. Alright, and... Um, and that's fortuitous timing, by the way, considering our whole berry situation right now, so... I'm not upset at that. And, um, yeah, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well to start off here. We got some bone meal we'll put back. We got some, uh, some mutton we're going to eat up. Delicious mutton. 18 levels of experience really coming into our own here. We're going to let that keep cooking. And, uh, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. So what we want to do, little touch, little baby amount, a little tiny baby, a little tiny bit of getting more sand. Um, we want to keep. We want to continue working on the greenhouse. Um, in fact, let's make another uh, chest because I'm kind of getting confused with all these materials being next to each other. Let's make like a project chest, which we'll put over here, a little bit separated. So, when we're working on the greenhouses, we have two stacks of glass. I probably only need one and our concrete for the first greenhouse here. We also need a second greenhouse for which we need this and this uh, but we're running a little bit low on our sand reserves um, but we do definitely want to make a little bit of concrete here so let's do that and let's take some uh, some of this con some of this gravel that we collected so long ago we'll put this glass here this will be for our solid gray um, concrete we'll put our bone meal away and uh, we'll we'll check out what we need um, we definitely need to get 
uh, we'll put this here and then we'll just put that there and we'll figure out maybe I'll do another light another gray and another light gray who knows but let's get our gray bone meal and that will be four bone meal and that will be enough to make a little bit of our um, black or our gray dye uh, the only other thing we need are ink sacks of which we have one two three four ink sacks now is perfect. Um, we will need more ink sacks now that we're going to be doing... Um, I kind of changed my mind. I want to do six of those um, beautiful little greenhouses. So we are going to need to go get more ink, uh, but we'll do that a little bit later. For now, I kind of just want to continue on the resource collecting game. So let's go ahead and get this into white dye. We can make that into gray dye, which will give us eight, which we can then craft into a stack of gray concrete powder. Um, which is fine. The next thing we want to do is some light gray. Um, and we need, I believe, two ink sacks for that was how my math worked out. I think we need two ink sacks, so we have enough for that. We want to do another little bit of gravel, another little bit of sand, which is beautiful. And um, our iron's done cooking, so that's a nice touch. And uh, we do need a little bit of our bone meal, so let's get that crafted up here. And uh, we'll go get our bone meal for our gray section. Our light gray section, I mean. We'll use two black dye. Um, actually, don't I need three black dye? Three black dye, yes. And that white dye. So that's actually fortuitous that we killed that extra squid that we didn't need to kill. Uh, and there we go. We just need to make our light gray dye here. And that will give us nine. And then we'll that here we have an extra light gray dye unavoidable uh, but that will give us um, some nice light gray concrete powder folks you love to see it we do need a little bit more sand and when i say a little bit more sand i mean a lot of bit more sand how much sand do we want to make let's break this how much sand do we want folks it's up to you no it's not it's up to me um uh, we're gonna need one two three four five six so for glass alone we're going to need eight more stacks of sand so we're going to need to make a hubba bubba shovel that's the name for a strong shovel and a hubba bubba shovel is going to need an iron and this should be enough to get us those wonderful beautiful eight stacks of silky smooth sand before we go I do want to make another quick pit stop by our farm so these actually look almost ready to harvest completely but i'm not going to that would be a little bit wasteful wouldn't it let's just spot pick it like we have been just fill this back in continue to get our bone meal situation sorted and um yeah this is looking very good i think and just continue to break that and that and that and we will go ahead and once this is done, we will come over here, work on our berry situation. Berries are very low, which is unfortunate. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes not having berries, right? Everyone likes berries. Let's take this off. Then let's harvest all these rows here. This is going to be great. This looks fantastic. All right, into our beautiful little elegant sugarcane farm over here. Let's um, go ahead and break this and there we go let's get a little bit of mutton and we now have all the things we want to break or to compost i mean we don't need the sugar cane right now we need bone meal let's get that put away and some of our extra berries can turn into bone meal and last but not least, we have a lot of seeds that could use a little bit of bone meal loving. Let's see how we're doing here. So we have three. I need six for that section. Okay. That looks good. And that is all of it. So we'll put six here. And uh, then we'll use this last slot for our last four bone meal, which is coming along very, very very nicely so in this last bit of time here we're gonna go ahead and um we're gonna come back home actually because we only have 10 seconds right what are we gonna do out there for 10 seconds we're gonna we're gonna get there and it's gonna be over so let's come here have a nice beautiful view 
of our little hut. A nice, gorgeous view of our beginning of the farms and our little fledgling greenhouse. And uh, let's continue next time to go and get some more resources and um, to come back and be ready to rock and roll and uh, get these greenhouses built up. So it's been a long project, much longer term than I thought it would be. But, you know, resources aren't cheap to get early game. So this is what we're going to do. All right. Thank you, everyone.